All right, uh, on to the wide-angle story of uh, the show. They say it's prudent to weigh your words carefully before uttering them. Well, Bangladesh's President Mohammad Shahbuddin is learning the hard way. We told you last week that Bangladesh is witnessing rapid Islamization, something that's worrying the entire neighborhood. And the scenes unfurling in Dhaka are now suggesting just that. Tensions are rising yet again as protests echo the political turmoil that's being seen during the ouster of former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Now, how might this impact the wider region, especially India, security challenges, geopolitical challenges, all that this report sums up for you. Some might call it a momentary lapse of judgment, while others a simple faux pas. But it has brought Bangladesh to the brink of yet another upheaval and sitting President Shahbuddin to being ousted. President Shahbuddin told a local newspaper last week that he had not seen Sheikh Hasina's resignation letter as she fled to India in August during a student-led uprising. His statement has poked holes, if not entirely demolished, the peaceful transition of power narrative peddled by Mohammed Yunus. In fact, Yunus was on record only last month warning Sheikh Hasina in case she thought of breaking her silence. Actions speak louder than words, and Bangladesh's interim government's actions following the so-called peaceful takeover are worrying. Since its inception, it has been trying to rewrite Bangladesh's history books. It's erasing signs of the country's liberation struggle, and Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, or Bongo Bandhu, Sheikh Hasina's father. At the same time, it's also tearing up the democratic fabric of Bangladesh. It has paved the way for the return of the banned outfit Jamaat-e Islami Bangladesh, whose infamous leader was convicted of war crimes for helping the Pakistani military in the 1971 massacre. An unlikely priority for a government that's dealing with the aftermath of the worst floods in the last three decades. Increased loans from local banks in the face of falling tax collections and surging foreign debt. A massive $400 million dent to its flourishing garment industry and constant attacks on its minority Hindu community. Yunus has still not given any time frame to conduct fresh elections. He claims the country needs certain reforms to not allow repetition of what happened in the past. But he has shied away from providing a finer picture. However, he did mention the starting point. In a realistic world, such a plan would take years to even reach execution. As Bangladesh tithers on the edge and its interim government continues pulling the wool over its citizens' eyes, the world and New Delhi are watching closely and fearing a path that could mirror its neighbour, Pakistan.